Good afternoon. Um, welcome to my daily Facebook Live. This is actually done a different way than usual, so I'm making sure this works. So hopefully you can hear me, because I rewired everything to make this work. Because Facebook decided not to do Facebook to let me do Facebook Live broadcast horizontally, it made them vertical. I thought, well, I'm going to find a workaround because I repost these to YouTube and I want to make sure they're right. So, and bear with me. I'm attempting not to wit, not to um, what's the word looking for? Wheeze too much. My, my cold is clearing, but it leaves a little bit of a respiratory thing, so it sounds a bit nasty. So don't worry, I'm getting better. Thank you for asking, if you did. Um, so welcome to my broadcast after all that <laughs> preparation. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live that I do every day, and today we'll talk about this thing called um, kindness. Now, if you've watched my broadcast for probably the last, oof, at least a year, probably longer than that, I talked about self-love being a primary focus, period. But really what I'm aware of is that we are missing out on how we do that in the world. Because some part of us, I believe, and this, this is all my theory, so I could be totally wrong on this, that we don't help others as much as we could because in some way we don't help ourselves. Yes, I'm going to flip the human kindness thing on its head, which is basically pointing it back at ourselves. Because I believe human kindness is something that starts from within. Yes, we can go out and serve in the community, and I've done service for 30 years, 30 plus years, to serve the community, serve people, serve other people. It's one of my natural traits, actually. But it's easier for me to do that when I put myself first, not egotistically, but out of compassion, care, and concern. So the more I'm able to take care of myself and the more I'm able to serve that way, then the more powerful my ability to help other people is. So that's like the gem right there in the middle of the talk, right at the beginning. So we're done now. I can walk away. No, <laughs> I'll give you a few more things because, um, frankly, um, I'm going to keep this short. I actually kept the broadcast short the last couple of days because my throat wasn't going to last long enough. I don't, I'm not doing a lot of phone calls, keeping it a minimum. Thank you, I can at this point, this point of the week so that I can save my throat and get back to full health. And having Facebook do its weirdness yesterday just threw me for a loop. So back to the right landscape format. And to the talk, I want to make sure I get my points clear. And to be honest, my head's a bit fuzzy, so hopefully I'll get this clear before I sign off. So you'll get some value from this. So let's say this another way. When it comes to helping other people, maybe it's the homeless people, or it's somebody else in your family, or somebody else at your work, or somebody else in a other dynamic, do you feel guilty for not helping them? Actually, let me play that one another way. Yeah. So if you don't feel guilty, maybe there's something wrong. Because that's the thing is, we, it's like we think about how guilt only happens to good people. If you don't feel guilty, you're usually not good. So I'm going to play that a little bit because I want to tease that out. I'm aware for myself, just to be transparent. And when I'm when I'm at the world and I see a homeless encampment, because there's quite a few in LA, in the west side of town particularly, sometimes I do my best to avoid or ignore it, being transparent here. And sometimes I look at it and just see a situation I can't fix. I don't believe I can, at least. That's the that's the presumption I carry. So my invitation to you, my consider, my, my um, thing to consider is, are you willing to be honest with yourself? Because I'm being honest with myself right now, and I've been honest with myself for a while about this. Is that um, I haven't been as as offering as I could be with people who are less well off than I am. Even though I don't think I'm necessarily the most well off person in the world, I can do things for other people. Now I do serve, as I mentioned, for over 30 years and my spiritual community other places where I'll be able to serve and help and, and make a difference. So, hi Gina, I hope you can trust me. I trust you can hear me on this, by the way. I'm doing a different setup because my phone won't let, me, won't let me do live landscape mode, so I'm doing it on my computer with an external camera and an external microphone, so hopefully you can hear me okay. It looks like it's okay on the screen, but I'll make sure you can actually hear the words I'm saying, so if you let me know, that'd be good. Thank you, Gina, I appreciate that. But this is the thing I'm talking about here is that we have this dance in life of daily choosing, I'm glad you can hear me very well, thank you for that, it's good to know. Um, actually, let me try something. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm taking this microphone off and I'm gonna bang it to see if it works, so I hope it doesn't deafen you, but if it does, let me know. If you don't hear it at all, or you just hear a quiet one, it means the other microphone. So did you hear that directly, or did you not hear anything? If you didn't, that's the other microphone that's being used. I'm just sorry, I'm just this is technical stuff I'm working on here. So I'm glad you can hear me. All right, so Gina, you can let me know in a second if that if that was noisy or if it didn't make any sound at all. Yes, no? Nothing. Okay, good. That means I can throw this mic away. I mean turn it off. 
I, I couldn't tell. There's no way to, with the desktop Facebook Live, there's no easy way to tell audio feedback. So, but the microphone must be working in the camera, which is fine with me. It's one of, just one of these um, technical ones. Anyway, let's get back into the topic. Now I've got the technical stuff out of the way. So we as human beings, I believe, are predisposed to have compassion for ourselves and other people. The stuff happens to us in our lives where maybe we get shut down, we get closed off, we get, um, you didn't hear the tap. Yeah, great. Okay, thank you, Grace, for that as well. Nice to see you. Sorry, I'm, the computer screen's behind the camera, so I'm looking past it to see the quotes, but I'm going to see it live now, which is good. Cool. All right. So we as human beings are naturally, I believe, compassionate and um, not so service-oriented, but we, we do have the inbuilt nature to be caring for other people. Now, stuff tends to happen to us in our lives. We get, um, I'll say kicked in the teeth. That was an interesting way to say it. We get challenged in our life where we start to shut down. We close off. And maybe we've had our own um, receptivity shut down. Okay, this is a whole piece now. Oh, okay, we'll go here. I, I haven't talked about this for a while. Something I learned in one of the seminars that I took 30 plus years ago about the whole abundance cycle. And in simple terms, what abundance is, is the articulation and the ability to give and receive. And so the more open we are to receive and give, it becomes a completed circle, a, a, um, an expression of completion, an expression of unity, and also an expression of flow. What's that going to do with this, you may be wondering. Well, the thing is, I know for most of us, we are trained, invited to, judged by how well we give. Usually in... Uh, let's see I say this. I'm going to say in public environments, private environments. The thing I want to get to is that we don't always receive ourselves. And, uh, there we go. Now it's going back. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the I didn't see the pathway, but now I just see it come back to the beginning to so know I can do it. All right. Spirit's got a way of working on this stuff. Um, in simple terms, this context of having a giving culture is very, very out of balance when we don't learn how to receive. So when we're not receiving, then we're giving from a um, finite source. So again, the cycle is giving and receiving, it's a cycle, so the more we give, the more it's important for us to receive. Now, where do you receive from and how do you receive is the key. I've, I've been thinking about talking about self-love in another way because I realize what we don't do for ourselves is take care of ourselves the way we should. And I've been talking about this in a while for a while now, but how one of the things I learned many, many, many years ago in a seminar was fundamental ground rule, which is take care of ourselves so we can take care of others, because we don't, unfortunately, get trained that way. We get trained, well, at least maybe just me, I don't know, maybe not you, but we get trained to take care of other people before we take care of ourselves, and it's backwards. If you have, um, if you've ever heard on a plane, you know about the rules, if there's the oxygen mask, that you put your own one on first before you help your child, if you have a child or somebody younger. <laughs> If we really knew about taking care of ourselves before we took care of other people, we, wouldn't almost, we would, would not almost need that announcement, in theory, because we know to take care of ourselves first. So I'm proposing, suggesting that when it comes to helping a people less well off than ourselves, sometimes we do it at a place of superiority, a place of, I was say, false humility. Ooh, let's play with that one a little bit. But the key I want to talk to you about is how do we come back to really serving from a place of overflow? And I said receiving, not taking, by the way. It's not, it's not a give and take cycle. It's a give and receive. Very different. Receiving isn't always about out there. A lot of time receiving is in here because we don't always learn how to turn within and actually allow ourselves to receive from within. In fact, we block that off. We block the channel because of things that happen to us when we're younger. So I'm just realizing this is all tying together from what I said earlier. All right. So the lesson I keep coming back to, that I keep remembering more and more, is self-care first, so you can then take care of others. So if you are feeling like you want to be more kind to other people, how kind are you to yourself? If you want to be more loving to the homeless people, how loving are you to yourself? If you want to make an effort to change a condition for a society to be better off than it's been, how willing to do are you do how willing are you to do that for yourself? Now I'm saying it's not for the point of you making you self-centered and selfish and egotistical no what i'm talking about is how do you fill up your tanks first so you can give easily and effortlessly in the world human kindness is a natural trait and i said in the title um being more than ever 
The thing is, what we tend not to do, though, is really be kind to ourselves. A lot of people out there are driven by ego or success or competition or fighting or whatever it is to try and get there before somebody else. And the problem with that is we end up not doing what I would call kindness. We end up doing what we think is forced giving or competition. And I believe for us, the next level of evolution is to come from a place of, 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 of kindness, not connidedness. That was an interesting word. Making stuff up. Come from a place of kindness to ourselves. Because when we're in the world and dancing and playing in the world, sometimes we are giving and we don't remember to take, take care of ourselves and we get drained by other people. Been there, done that myself. Or we become so self protected because we don't want to um, risk ourselves that we just shut down completely and we're not available to anybody else. So either one of those is not effective. So again, when you come back to self-care first, self-support, kindness to yourself first, however you do that, when you're out in the world, first of all, you're more secure in who you are, which is a side effect of this, by the way. So you feel safe, you feel trusting, you feel okay with yourself. You also know that when you give, you have more than you need to to give. So you can give easily without conditions, without stress, without fear of losing. I'm aware for myself of watching how people in the world are needing to be more kind nowadays more than ever. And I feel like what we're doing now is remembering that more than ever. Not mean that we're doing it more than ever, but we're remembering it more than ever. With all the againstness and the separation and the drawing of lines in the political turf, political turf and other places too, we start to forget that we actually can be kind to each other, especially when our views don't match. So I'm throwing down the gauntlet here. I'm inviting you to look at those people who maybe you feel are on the other side of that fence, the imaginary fence. Can you be kind to them too? Or are you going to be only going to be kind to the people on your side of the fence? Just a suggestion. There's a lot of stuff coming up the next, I mean, I believe we have a lot of opportunity coming forward the next six, eight months, especially politically speaking, but also in a culture being in 2020 where we can be much more available, much more able to serve, to give, to be of kindness to those people we're challenged by as well as those people we love. Up to you to decide which is which. So that's going to keep you busy for a bit. That's a little homework assignment if you want to take it on, is taking out the world and being of kindness to other people. Um, I will put a couple of links in the comments for you to check out. My self-love meditation will help you remember to put yourself first, because that's always a reminder. And also my BFF Masterclass, because if you really want to learn how to navigate that inner dynamic and the inner world that brings you back to yourself in a way that's healthy, supportive, and masterful, I believe my, my BFF Masterclass will help you. So the links will be in the comments. One is barrysilver.com forward slash self-love. The other one is barrysilver.com slash BFF. Take a look at those if you want to. So write this on for size. Are you willing to be more compassionate, more kind, more caring to the world in general? Especially those in the news that you feel challenged by. Let's play with that one for a bit, shall we? But especially those people who are definitely challenged by the world, who are maybe homeless or more challenged because of other reasons. You decide what that is. I'm not going to decide for you. So I think it's going to be about it. I'm going to get off shortly. I'm going to get off shortly so my throat doesn't completely dry up. I'm, I haven't sneezed or coughed so far, which is good in my broadcast. So let's see if you what's going on all day today. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is my daily Facebook Live. Go live on my business, my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here, seven days a week. You can join me live if you want to watch me here. Or you can watch the replays on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. Although only about 200 show, seem to show up there, the rest are on, my, are on my YouTube channel. So business page is Barry Selby, the author. You can watch replays there. All of the replays are on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, excuse me, youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. And there's a playlist, playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, where all those idols live. I'm hoping my voice is going to be back to normal tomorrow. This breathing sinusy thing from this cold has been no fun, but I'm, I think I'm almost over it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this topic, please put them in the comments below. If, you're asking, if you want to get any more help, reach out to me. Again, those two ideas will be in the comments for you to check out later. And uh, before I completely croak up, I invite you to take care of yourself. That, that's been my sign for a while now, which is please take care of yourself. The second part of that is, so you can then take care of others. Play with that one this weekend. I'll see you again tomorrow for another broadcast, and I wish you well. Enjoy your evening, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm trying to go live. <laughs>